it's not very nice it's lonely I just felt alone that no one cares for three years, Sandra barely left the house and had little contact with the outside world as isolation took over. What did it do to you? How did it change you? Well, it made me really ill mentally and things like that and uh, didn't want to get up on the morning. I want to cry all the time, crying all the time. Sandra's local MP was Joe Cox. Joe came to see her to hear her experience of loneliness as she took her first steps towards setting up the commission. She was really listening and really interested and I think she was really upset actually and uh, I just asked her if she could like sort of do anything you know to help these people. Today, Joe's husband and sister joined MPs and charities to launch her commission to find new ways to tackle loneliness, dubbing the problem Britain's silent epidemic. Loneliness transcends age, gender, race, religion, class and party politics. It's something we can all tackle together as a society to create cohesive communities and positive relationships and, of course, to make Joe proud. Thank you very much. Joe Cox was elected in May 2015. I'm elated, but I'm humbled that the people of Batley and Spen have put their trust in me to be your next Member of Parliament. Just over a year later, she was murdered, but her political legacy lives on. So many people do want to do something in their life, uh, to honour Joe's memory, uh, to live their lives a little bit more like Joe Cox lived hers. There you are, Abdullah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Life for Sandra is now very different, with weekly visits from the Royal Voluntary yeah. Service for simple things like help with the shopping, priceless in itself because those regular visits mean regular company. Peter Lane, 5 News.